Hey guys, it's Lina from the Land of Gods and we are doing the October monthly reading for the sign of Cancer, my crabby crab crabs, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Remember these are general readings, times fluid, energies can be flipped, cards can pick up energy of your loved ones. Keeping all of that in mind, take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive. If you are here for the first time, welcome aboard, welcome to my channel. If you've been here before and coming back again, thank you so much. Let's jump in. Feelers from Moonology, let me check. Okay, that's weird, sure. New romantic cycle begins, okay. Bring love into the situation, uh-huh talk about emotions and water and water signs we've got both cards time to take action have you been thinking about this new romance who tickled your heart not really doing anything about it is that is that so oh let's see what the tarot has to say don't sit on it just make that call Okay. Zah. My crabs. You sit. Oh my God. Look at that. <laughs> I said it's a general reading. I'm not really suggesting anything. It's just the cards. You know. It's just all lovey-dovey. Crossing you is the world. Grounding you is the ace of swords. In the, ooh, in the recent past, the blues of the moon. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's all about emotions as we were talking about. Deep diving into the emotions. The three of swords is what's crowning you. The ten of cups is what's coming in the future. Three of cups in the internal environment. It's all about love. Come on. I mean. What are we talking about? This is all love everywhere. Eight of Pentacles in the external hopes and fears. Two of Cups. Who are we kidding? This is a love reading. I mean, come on. Five of Swords as the outcome. Tell me about it. And the Nine of Swords at the bottom. Man. I wish love was easier than, than this. We all crave for love and when it comes, it just gives us sleepless nights, anxiety. What do we do? Confusion. Oh. Yeah. You want it so bad, but when it just hits you sometimes in the bloody face, right? Lovers in the current... Wow, look at that. Ace of Cups. Oh, look, a new romantic cycle begins. And this is someone who really, really tickles your heart. Someone you truly feel very deeply connected with. Someone who has just swooped you off the ground, like seriously, wooed you. You are smitten. Ace of Swords as the grounding. The way it jumped, man. The King of Rods. Yeah. You want to see clarity in it. You know, I, I know you are like all wood and stuff. and But you are thinking from a very stable kind of point of view. Because you do want to get to the bottom of how you're feeling. Why? I tell you. Because in the recent past, you were really hitting ground zero when it comes to dealing with emotions. You were really, really drowning in your own. This is giving me that five of cups feeling in that grieving stage completely submerged in your emotions and that's why now when it has hit you you're like no wait a minute 
I know this is just happening. Maybe it's happening too fast. Maybe it's happening faster than you had anticipated. And the thing is that you're so focused on that heartache that is it going to bring me this pain that I have had in the past, that I had experienced in the past, that had put me in this melancholic mood. That's the reason why it's told to you bring love into the situation don't be so hardcore don't be so hard on yourself my crabs you know why why you're being hard to yourself because the world is stands in the challenge you're not able to close that cycle you're not able to let bygones be bygones you're holding on to the past energy that's why the world crossing look what was i saying uh, i mean it's just reconfirmation of the pain that you've had. You're not able to close the cycle. You're not able to close the cycle. And that's the reason you are hesitant. Someone has really scooped you out of blue. It's lit literally like out of the blue. What was the song that's coming in my head? You took me right out of the blue simply by saying that you love me too. Yeah, you are doubting that. The moon. Let's clarify the moon. Two of swords and the lovers. What was I saying? Self-doubt. This is self-doubt. This is doubting this connection. This is doubting this. We've got lovers again in the past and in the current. Yeah. You're like, no, no, oh, no, no, no. I'm not going to get myself back into that space where someone can hurt me. I'm already too hurt. But this feels so strong. This comes straight from the heart that it's so difficult for you to ignore it. The three of swords that's crowning my crabs. Please clarify the energy. The three of swords. Why it's on their mind. That's a bombardment. That's a bombardment. Okay, I'm told. Take all. Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll take all. Three of swords comes along with the three of swords. With the moon. With the fool. The page of rods. And nine of pentacles. Yeah, you were all set. I am going to be all independent. I'm going to do it all by myself. I'm not going to fall into that trap of love again. No. That moon takes me to this moon. To this moon. All about emotions. All about love. F that shit. No. You're like, uh, uh, I am all set to head towards my independence, towards me being me, focusing on my career, blah, 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 because I don't want to deal with this. And as I said, this has really hit you out of the blue. And it, it's just something that just came out of nowhere. Somebody really knocked you off the, your socks. Like, man, what strong love connection here. The Ten of Cups in the near future. Beautiful, beautiful energy, my crabs. What do we have? The Two of Cups. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, loving, loving, loving. So. Two of Cups in hopes and fears as well, by the way. No? What are we talking about? Takes me back to the lover's card. Look. How cute you all look. Aww. <laughs> I'm feeling giddy right now. Like, seriously, guys. Your angels. This is, this is divinely protected love, okay? Your angels are blessing you. Your angels are protecting you. You are, I know... Uh, being overprotective of your poor heart that has gone through a lot of pain before which you are finding difficult to wrap but this is something that is just it just feels so right that's the reason you're having this struggle if it wouldn't have felt this right 
you wouldn't have even given it a second thought, right? But you are, why? You are having sleepless nights, why? Because your gut tells you this is, this is the right thing to do, isn't it? It's time for you to take action, it is. It is time for you to take action. Three of cups in the internal. What do we have? The king of pentacles. Yeah. You're gonna, you, what you really want is to work upon this joy, this stability, this fun times, the sense of belonging. This person really inspires you to find that rooting again. Eight of Pentacles, all focused, all focused on what? Let's see. All focused on what? The external environment. All, f oh, look at that. Ten of Cups, again. All focused on this, what's coming in the near future. Yes. Yes. My, my, talk about a love reading. I mean, it's still officially a general reading. I'm just saying. Uh, what was that song? Um, Romeo and Juliet song that's coming in my head. Love me, love me, say that you love me. Fool me, fool me, go on and fool me. <laughs> Oh my god, Krabbies, this is so cute. This actually feels so cute. You're like all in the head. Ah, don't be, come on. It's just love. Two of Cups and Hopes and Fears. Yeah. Hoping to finally have this connection. Hoping to finally drop this baggage of fearing not able to seems more like you're hoping to finally overcome this grief from the past that has left you in the blues five of swords as the outcome then why are you so bloody worried crabbies what's making you so worried so in your head the sun, you are all about starting this and you are thinking way too much. Let's put it that way. Huh? Way too much of thinking going on. Just scared to take that leap of faith in love. Yeah. The sun's gonna shine brightly upon the two of you. Oh. The king of swords with the nine with the nine of swords at the bottom. Yeah, you want to get to the root of it. You want to be all tough like king of swords, you know, but it's leaving you with sleepless nights because all you want is that love, that ten of cups and the three of cups. You want to take that leap of faith. You don't want to deal with this three of swords energy anymore, that heartache anymore. But you know what? This love is here to help you heal, I'm told. This love is here to restore your faith in love again. Beautiful. Oh, what a cute reading. <laughs> Cupid all over. It's like Chick, 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 chick. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> I don't know why I'm giggling, but I am. Let's get you some guidance from the yogic path. We have... Okay. This is what happened with the, the Pisces as well. I don't know why, but I generally make sure... All my decks, all my cards are upright, meditated upon. But somehow, you guys are so whew, all over the place. Ojas is what we have. Let's see what's the message that comes along with Ojas. Ojas means a subtle energy of health and well-being, peaceful and patient. 
Now it came in the reverse, right? So as much as I want to read the upright, I'm going to read the reverse because it did come in the reverse. Has your personal health taken a backseat to other matters? Is this giving you some health issues? The sleepless nights and the stress and the worry and the heartache? This must change. The only way you can truly care for others is if you have taken care of yourself first, which is true. You must put on your own air mask before you can attend to the needs of others. This is the first rule in aviation, your mask first. Make time for sleep, cooking, meditation and yoga. Though you may feel that you don't have time for these things, the truth is you won't have much time without them. Wow, that's just making a point straight my crabbies it's been a very cute reading thanks for joining me today it's a wrap namaste from the land of gods <laughs>